We've already talked about just basic probability. And when we did that, we touched on experimental and theoretical probability. So let's get a definition for both of those. Experimental probability is probability based on actually trying the experiment or activity. Okay, so go back to rolling a specific number on a dice. Say we want to roll a one on a dice. There's six total outcomes. Experimental would be rolling that dice six times and keeping track of how many times we got our uh, desired outcome. Theoretical probability is based on the equal chances of an event or outcome. So this is what we were figuring uh, a couple of days ago where we had favorable outcomes over total outcomes. That's the theoretical probability. That's what's supposed to happen. And then when we're doing these, each trial is a repetition or observation of the probability experiment. Okay, so we're going to be doing some trials today. Give you a minute to copy that down and then we'll move on. All right, let's look at theoretical versus experimental when we're talking about uh, rolling a dice. We know that on a standard dice there are six outcomes, one through six. So our total outcomes, there's six of them. And there's only one, two on this dice. And so the probability, the theoretical probability of rolling this dice and getting us a two is one sixth. Okay? For getting an even, well, there's three even numbers on this. So that would be three over six. Okay? Which will simplify down to one over two. And then for the probability of getting a number that's greater than or equal to three, well, that would be three, four, five, and six. So there's four of those. So it would be 4 over 6, which will simplify to 2 over 3. Experimental is when we actually try it. And just in the, to save time here, we're just going to try to do the first one here. Okay. So the probability of rolling a 2, we need to roll this dice 6 times and record how many of those times that we get a 2. So here's our first roll, and we get a 1. Here's our second row, and we get a 6. Here's our third row, we get a 4, still haven't gotten a 2. Here's our fourth row, we get a 5. Here's our fifth row, we get another 4. And here's our sixth row, give me a 2. We didn't get any 2s out of that sixth row. So our experimental probability would be 0 over 6 versus 1 over 6. Is experimental probability going to always be that way? No, if we kept doing it enough times, if we did this, kept trying trials, we would eventually get to where it might even out with the theoretical, but just doing it with 6 tries might not work. Okay? So, theoretical probability is what should happen. Experimental property, prob probability, excuse me, is what actually happens when we try the experiment. Let's do it again here on uh, with a spinner. Okay, we've got a spinner divided into four equal parts. We're looking for the probability of spinning and it landing on green. Well, four total outcomes, one favorable outcome, so the theoretical probability is one out of four. For the probability of landing on a green or a red, well, that's two ways that we can win. So that's two out of four, which will simplify down to one out of two, or one over two. And then probability of not green, okay, we want anything but a green. Well, there's three colors that aren't green, so that would be a probability of three out of four times that's going to happen. So let's try theoretic, or excuse me, experimental probability with the probability of getting a green. Theoretically, we said it should happen one out of every four times. So there's our first spin, and we get a green, first try. Let's try it again. Okay, get a purple. Third try, we get another green. And then the fourth try, we get a purple. So our 
experimental probability came up to two over four, which is one half. So we got one every two times we spent, uh, spun the spinner, we ended up with getting a green. So on this one, a probability of getting a green or a red, we came up with a probability of one half. So that means we've got a 50-50 chance, okay? So let's spin our spinner. And the first time we get a purple, no winner there. Got purple again. Third try, we've got an orange. Fourth try, we get a green. We busted on that one. Our experimental probability was zero fours or zero. It did not happen, okay? On this next one, it says a probability of not green. Our theoretical probability was three-fourths. Let's go ahead and try experimental. So experimental, we'll spin it uh, four times. First time we're a winner, okay, because it's not green. Second try, again, it's not green. Third spin, we've got red, that's not green. And our fourth try, We've got purple, so all four times, we got something that was not green. So there you can kind of compare theoretical, what's supposed to happen, and experimental, what actually happened when we tried. I hope this helps a little bit, and you're, feel free to ask questions if you have them.